Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Zotac GeForce GTX 1060 3GB edition. This should be going in my wife's rig here. Um, micro ATX case currently housing a 7970 Sapphire graphics card and uh, it would be a lot quieter I hope using the Zotac. Also give her a nice frames per second bump. As you can see the Zotac GeForce box is fairly nice yellow and green scheme VR ready Firestorm I never purchased a Zotac card before first graphics card I ever purchased was a his X800 or some such and it was garbage sent it back for an RMA I haven't bought anything other than name brand since then as we can see comes in a nice shiny black box. Trying to make sure it's nice and centered. We have our quick installation guide. Should be useful. I have no idea what this is. Oh, Zotac SSDs. Didn't know that Zotac made SSDs. Fascinating. And here we have our card. Kind of nice size. Appears to be an aluminum cooler. it. With the tape covering the etched Zotac logo. I'll take that off later. Custom PCB. Very small. Looks like the same as their six gigabyte edition. Of course if you've done any research on the 3 gigabyte card by this point you realize that it is a little bit gimped uh, one less shader unit or some such wow that's very technical got our one display port excuse me three display ports one HDMI and DVI give you a size comparison That's the one out of my rig, a GTX 660. As you can see, the PCBs are about the same size, just without the blower shroud. We're gonna try to do this on camera. Not sure how well I'll be able to do this. And you might be asking, why buy the three gigabyte edition of the GTX 1060? Why not just go for the six gigabyte full card well, when the full card is $250, or the version you want is $270, and you see one, you know that's going to be just a little bit less in performance, and you say, well, yeah, it's a little bit less at $1080, but what about $1440 and $4K? I understand that, which is why, because I'm using a Dell... 24-inch ultra sharp at 1920 by 1200 resolution uh, the card should be perfect for me but in the wife's rig she is running 1440p and from what I can tell on benchmarks the games that we play being Civ 5 and nothing really new should be more than adequate for her needs As you can see, still impressed that I was able to get a card this big in a case this small. Comparison Oop. for size comparison. Yeah, it's a whole lot smaller.
see if I can get any of this in camera. Yeah, so I think it'll make a big difference. Hopefully it'll be a lot quieter. Again, it sounds like a 747 taking off right next to your head. This should be some kind of an improvement. And there's, even though she's gaming at 1440, this will be plenty for now. If we ever decide to upgrade, which I'm sure we will, I'll take this card since I only game at 1200. And then we'll buy her something that can handle her resolution, something with eight gigabytes, probably a 1070. I'd like to try a HTC Vive at some point. Yeah, that's a big difference.